My word Hallelujah. of encouragement today, praise God, is coming from Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, we all know it well, but I will read it through in the NLT version this morning. Who has believed our message? Mm. To whom has the Lord revealed his powerful arm? Yes. My servant grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot, like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about mm. his appearance. My nothing, God. nothing to attract us to him. He was despised and rejected. My Lord. A man of sorrows, acquainted with, grief. with deepest grief. Mm. We turn our backs on him and look the other way. Jeez. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weakness, says, he carried. Yes. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. <laughs> but he was pierced for our rebellion. Yes, he was. Crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. <laughs> he was whipped so we could be healed. Yes, God. All of us, like sheep, have strayed away. Sure. Yes, we have. We have left God's paths to follow our own. Yet the Lord laid on him the sins of us all. Of us all. He was oppressed and treated harshly. Yet oh. he never said a word. My God. Led like a lamb to the slaughter. To the slaughter. And as a sheep is silent before his shears, he did not open his mouth. Unjustly condemned, he was led away. No one cared that he died without descendants, mm. that his life was cut short in midstream, but he was struck down for the rebellion of my people. My Lord. Done no wrong, had never deceived anyone, but he was buried like a criminal. He was put in a rich man's grave. But it was the Lord's good plan to crush him. Yes. And to cause him grief. Thank Yet you, when his life is made an offering for sin, he will have many descendants. Hallelujah. Yes. He Hallelujah. will enjoy life and the Lord's good plan will prosper in his hands. Yes. When he sees all that is accomplished by his anguish, he will be satisfied. Mm. And because of his experience, my righteous servant will make it possible for many to be counted righteous. Thank you. Or he will bear all their sins. Thank you, Jesus. I will give him the honors of a victorious soldier. Because he exposed himself to death. Mm. He was counted among the rebels. He bore the sins of many. And he interceded, he interceded for the rebels. Yes. Why should such an innocent man such as Jesus Christ die such a terrible death on the cross? These verses explain why. Mm. He took the place of sinners. He bare the judgment for them. Yes. Note the price that he paid, folks. Wounded, pierced. Mm -hmm. Referring to his death on the cross. Yes. Bruce means crushed under a burden. The mm -hmm. weight of sin. My God. Chastises and punish, punish as though he had broken the law. My God. And in this case, with stripes from the scourging. Oh. These physical sufferings were nothing compared to oh. the spiritual suffering on the cross when he bore our transgressions, our rebellions, deliberately yes. breaking God's law, our iniquities. The crookedness of our nature, our griefs and our sorrows, our calamities, unhappy results of our sins. Oh Folks, we are sinners by birth. Mm. That's why the scripture said, all we like sheep have gone astray. Gone astray. And by choice, we have turned everyone to his own way. My Lord. So he was not treated justly. He was oppressed, harassed, treated roughly, yet he did not complain or cry out. And wow. don't you shout 
for any reason. Okay, they mocked him. They pushed him from one place to another, yet he was silent and meek as a lamb. He was the lamb of God who came to take away the world's sin. And he has suggested today that he was taken violently from prison and was not permitted justice. He had no rights. So if you're going through something today, he did not. Did not say anything. Don't say anything. Let the Lord work on your behalf. Amen. Jesus did not protest or argue. Why? Because he had come to die for the sins of the people. You yes. are where you are because God has placed you exactly where you are. May God grant you blessing and the desires of your heart today. Amen. For the Lord. God Amen. bless you. Thank you. That was the blessing. Amen. 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 All of that he did for us. All of that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Coming to read the scriptures for us today, who, who will uh, establish uh, Pastor Ochian as the speaker, is the marshals. Would you come and share with us the scripture Amen. reading for today? I'm reading, we are reading the scriptures today from Acts 27, 20 to 44. I'll be doing the first half. And I'm reading from the Workman's Bible, uh, King James Version. Amen. And when, ne and when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. But after long abstinence, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, Ye should have hearkened unto me and not have loosed from Crete, and to have gained this harm and loss. And now I exhort you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar, and, lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe, God, that it shall be even as it was told me. Mm -hmm. I'll be we must be cast upon a certain island. But when the fourteenth night was come, as we were driven up and down in Abria, about midnight the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country and sounded and found it twenty fat horns. And when they had gone a little further, they sounded again and found it 14 fat homes. Mm. Then fearing least we should have fallen upon rocks, they mm. cast four anchors out of the stern and wished for the day. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had led down the boat into the sea and unto, under the color of thou they should, they would have cast anchors out of the foreship. Paul said to the centurions and to the soldiers, except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. Mm. Where did you stop? 32. 332? Yep. When the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat, and let her fall off. Uh, and while the day was coming on, Paul bethought them all to take meat, saying, This day is the fourteenth day that ye have carried and continued fasting, having, mm. that, having taken nothing. Therefore I pray you to take some meat, for this is for your health. Mm -hmm. There's not a hair for 
fall from the head of any of you. And then he had thus spoken. He took bread and gave thanks to God presence of them all. And yes. when he had broken it, he began to eat. Then, then were they all of good cheer, and they also took some meat. And we were in all in the ship, 203 scores and 16 souls. And when they had eaten enough, they lightened the ship and cast out the wheat into the sea. And when it was day, they knew not the land, but they discovered a certain creek with a score into of which they were minded if mm. they were able to bust in the ship. And mm. then they taken up the anchor, anchors and they committed themselves unto the sea. Yes. The rubber bands and hoist up the mainsail to the yes. wind and made towards shore. Mm -hmm. And fallen to a place where two seas met. They ran the ship around and the four parts stuck fast and remained it unmovable. But mm. the hinder part was broken with mm -hmm. the violence of the waves. And the soldiers' counsel was to kill the prisoners, lest any of them should swim out and escape. But the centurion, willing to save Paul, kept them from their purpose and commanded that they, they which should swim should cast themselves first into the sea and mm -hmm. get to And the rest, some on boards and some on broken pieces of the ship. And so it came to pass that they escaped all safe to land. Praise the name of the Lord. May God add the blessing. Thank you so much to the marshals for reading that scripture verse this morning. Verses this morning. Here, as my brother opens his video, please open your video, my brother. And here coming to share with us what God has placed on his heart is Pastor Ochien. Praise God. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. Uh, I'm blessed already, and I just wish people could say the last uh, benediction when we go home. <laughs> blessed by the songs, blessed by the, the beautiful songs and real, real, real uh, anointed singers. Uh, we are here today to, to, to learn about Paul. Paul, the apostle of uh, Jesus Christ, was actually a very unique apostle mm. and uh, I, I chose him for this purpose because uh, I read a, a little about his background and uh, you'd allow me shortly to digress and go and read a summary of his background then we can come to the sermon. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, this could help us to understand the kind of uh, life he led and the journey he walked so that we know that it is not unique with what we are going through today. No. And yeah, so uh, when you are going through a lot of suffering, passing through temptations and trials, don't rule yourself out. You could be mm -hmm. chosen. You are a That's chosen right. one. Yes. Mm. So uh, in summary, Paul, before conversion, uh, Apostle Paul was appointed by God. Yes. Uh, and, and before conversion, we learned that he was born in a city known as Tarsus. Tarsus was one of the city, capital city of, of Roman province mm -hmm. of Sicilia in southern southeast Asia Minor. A strict Pharisee who was educated at the feet of Gamaliel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We first find him in Jerusalem where he was pres uh, present at the consented, as he consented the death of a Christian martyr that is Stephen. Yes. yes. Yeah. He then began uh, a vicious campaign of uh, persecution against Christians. But he didn't do that long 
because mm. uh, the power of God uh, uh, struck him on the way to Damascus. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and in he suddenly saw a blinding light and fell to the ground, hearing Jesus speak to him. He was then led by hand, blind, mm. to Damascus. Yes. yes. Where a Christian named Ananias met him. Paul was uh, cured of his blindness and believed on Jesus Christ and was baptized. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, uh, his first year was interesting. Immediately, Paul had been uh, saved. He, he jumped onto the journey to uh, Arabia uh, because he had in his uh, spirit that he was supposed to preach to the Gentiles. But this is premature. Also, it helped him also to survey the ground. Eventually, returning to Damascus, uh, in uh, Damascus, uh, he thought he would be welcomed, but he escaped assassination plot mm. uh, in, in that city, and he headed to Jerusalem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where two events of great importance for, the, for his future life occurred. First, he met a fellow Christian and future companion. Yes. That, that is Barnabas. Uh -huh. uh, uh, he also saw a vision in the temple that commanded him to take the gospel to the Gentiles. Mm. Yeah. Now, there, now there is a call now. Mm. Another, another assassination plot sent him fleeing to Caesarea, mm -hmm. then back to then back to Tessus, the, his homeland. Eventually, ending up in uh, Syria, Antioch, he he partnered with uh, Barnabas and took a short journey down to Jerusalem mm. to bring bring relief to the church, after which time he returned uh, to Antioch. Uh, the first missionary journey, while in Antioch, both Paul and Barnabas were, <clears throat> uh, clear, uh, were clearly called to the Lord's service, then soon set sail for uh, Cyprus, where they met two men. Paul preached Man. to Sag Sagius Paulus, a Roman deputy who believed the gospel, Despite the effort of uh, Bar Jesus, who was uh, who actually God blinded for trying to to to, to hinder Paul, mm. uh, setting sail, wow. uh, the evangelists continued to Perga, then to Pesedian, Antioch, where Paul delivered his first evangelistic sermon to the Jews, mm. uh, then to Iconium and Lystra and all cities of Asia Minor, where in Lystra, Paul healed a cripple, which almost caused the city to worship him. Mm -hmm. when, when Jews arrived, the citizens changed their, uh, changed their mind and stoned, uh, and, and stoned him, uh, leaving him for dead. Mm -hmm. after, re after recovering, Paul Barnabas returned to Syria, Antioch. And now this is his second journey. I, I want you to live, I want you to see something. He's going through rough time as he he's got a call in his life and he's moving with this call, irrespective of the circumstances. Right. He's, he's got a total transformed mind from the person who's persecuting Christian to That's a right. person whose mind is completely different. Different. Amen. Yes. The, then a second missionary journey took him to Jerusalem uh, from Jerusalem Council, the great council of the early church convened in Jerusalem to discuss the question of the law. After de de determining that uh, Christians were not bound by the law of Moses, he sent Paul as a messenger to deliver the, the verdict. So it's another setup. Paul mm -hmm. traveled <laughs> northwest through Anatolia before mm. crossing into Macedonia. Mm. While in Philippi, he cast out a spirit of divination but yes. ended up in prison as a result after, after the jailer was con converted he was freed to travel to, to Thessalonica, Thessalonica. Yeah. okay Where a great persecution against christians soon broke out uh, uh broke out uh, journeying south into the heartland of greece he delivered his famous uh mass hill sermon at athens the journey concluded with the time at Corinth before heading back to Jerusalem. Now, third missionary journey, Paul in Paul's intention after leaving Jerusalem was to strengthen the churches of Galatia and, and Phrygia in Antolia, mm -hmm. weaving his way over 
the road of Asia Minor, he eventually came to the hustling, bustling coast city of Ephesus, where he lived for some time. As, as the church grew, the new Christians burned their occult books, but trouble was in the air. Mm. Uh, Demetrius, a silversmith who made idols, tied up the city into an uproar, okay. forcing, forcing Paul to leave Ephesians. Mm. Then, then the apostle headed to Greece, where he stayed three months, then returned through Macedonia, sailing along the coast of Anatolia towards Jerusalem. Right. He, rev he revived a young man named Eutychus at uh, a stop in Troas. In mm -hmm. Troas, sorry. At Miletus, he must, uh, sorry, he met with the Ephesians elders and exhorted them in their noble work. He remained firm in the decision to visit Jerusalem, even as he received a prophecy from Agabus about his imminent arrest. Arrest, yes. After visiting with James, that is his last, uh, last journey to Rome, and this is where my sermon is. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I just picked a few to talk to today. Mm -hmm. After this, vis after visiting the, uh, with James in Jerusalem, Paul headed to the uh, the heart of the city, the temple. Mm -hmm. He was quickly surrounded by murderous mob who believed he had defiled the sacred space. Uh, mm. Yet the commander of the Roman uh, garrison rescued him only to threaten him with scourging. Mm. Uh, with Roman security, uh, Paul was given permission to address the mob twice, mm -hmm. only, only to require further Roman uh, rescue. Soon the Jews began to plot, uh, began plotting even more elaboratively, uh, elaboratively mm. and yes. uh, the Romans were forced to evacuate their prisoner to the safety of Caesarea. Uh, I'll leave it there. Yes, I wanted you to, just to see the picture of a man who is going through a lot. Yes. And uh, and yet he is, uh, uh, he is stuck in his call. And he knows mm -hmm. that he was called for a specific reason. Yes. And, uh, and, and he is not giving in. In, in any trials, any, any, any persecution, no. uh, even if stoned and left for death, he is still there, stay there. Yes, and, yes. And, and, and actually, that, that's, that confirms the scripture, that uh, is uh, occupy until I come. come. Yes. You, you have to occupy right there where you have been called. You have been given a space. You have to occupy it until the Lord comes. Yes. Now, uh, the scripture in Psalms 34, uh, 19 also tells us something to strengthen my message today, that many are the affliction of the righteous, of the righteous. But, the, uh, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. My Amen. Lord. Yeah. Here we have Paul, who was uh, a servant of God, a great servant of God, if I may call, because out of the 27 gospel of the, of the, of the Bible, Paul wrote 13 of them. That's right. My and Lord. Paul was so much astounded because he was actually very educated. Yes. And, uh, and he, he went through Gamaliel, who was actually regarded by that time as a, as a very good uh, school of thought. Yes, mm -hmm. amen. And, and, and uh, here is a, it's, it's a book written by one person that was very thorough. That is Luke, Dr. Luke. Read, writing about Paul, then you can know how serious it was. Mm. So, uh, so here the, the the book of Acts reveals a lot to us, especially when we know that Paul was called for you and me. Paul was yes. actually Amen. assigned for the Gentile. The Gentiles. He yes, was, he was a total reflection of Christ for us, the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he he did it without looking back because he had a transformed thinking. Mm -hmm. And my subject today is transforming your thinking. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, we, ha we are living in a world of so many things that divert our attention. And many times we are finding ourselves uh, being diverted by those things, especially the things that we see and are threatening. But the truth is that 
even though we may pass through the valley of the shadow of death, mm. the Lord is still with us. Yes, even he is. though we may pass through the shakings and all these kinds of trials, the Lord is not away from us. He is with us at the very heart of the trouble. And the first portion of the scripture, 2021, 20, that's Acts 27, verse 21 to 26, talks of Paul in the ship being taken to Rome. And Paul was to be handed to one of the most tyrant leaders uh, by then, uh, Emperor Nero. And, mm -hmm. uh, and he was on the boat and there was Tamils. He was in tune with his God, despite the fact that he was a prisoner. We see uh, three different people in the boat. We see a prisoner, but a prisoner of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also see the sailors who have experience. We see the officers that who are actually there to monitor what is going on. Yes. And, and, and actually there are four. The fourth one are the soldiers. Mm. So we see all these four groups of people in the same boat. But there was one man who was a prisoner, but was a prisoner of the Lord. Lord. Amen. And he, he had the ability to hear from without because the rest were seeing the circumstances around them but paul was seeing beyond the circumstances yeah jesus and and i thank god that uh, he even woke up and he had an advantage because one of the centurion was on his side because god always assigns one person for you in mm. every yes. circumstances that you are that one person is the one person you can actually fellowship with. One person you can confront. One person that can step up and say, this is the man of God, leave him alone. One person that can stand when you are in trouble. And yes. those are the people that God chooses. And the, he Thank chooses you. those people at a particular time in mm. your life. Mm. And you will single them out and you say, so and so is a particular, uh, is so special to me. Mm. And when, when we came here to Miss Disney, we knew nobody. But somehow, God appointed somebody to stand with us. Oh. And, and, and we know we were in a, a, a state where we do not know anybody. But when mm. we were praying to come, God told us that I'm sending an angel ahead of you. Yes. My Lord. So my complaint was, God, the place we are going, we are hearing is so hostile. The place they don't want people from outside. All those things were coming. But uh, we looked deeper and agree that God has assigned somebody for us. Yes. Amen. And for sure, he assigned somebody for us. And that was the beauty that when we came, he was a significant person in the community. And therefore, we went through a lot of smoothness in matters of getting how to get along. Uh, and here we are with Paul in the midst of the sea. Mm. Yeah. And when they started, the, the sailors who are experienced in the sea saw something, they saw the calmness, and they set out because what they saw. Mm. But Paul, Paul, being a man of God, had told them that it will not be smooth with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. But they ignored the man of God as they do it nowadays. They yes. ex Amen. We tell them a lot about the kingdom of God is near and they ignore. Yes. They ignored the man of God and they, took, uh, they, they launched into the sea and started sailing mm -hmm. at a place called uh, Fair Heaven, uh, just in near Crete, Crete, he told them they should anchor there and not move anymore. But yes. they, they refused. Yes. Uh, and, and, and moved on by the, by the island. So this is the position of Paul. A man of God, packed by the power of God, trying to give the correct advice to the people who are, who are facing imminent death, mm -hmm. yet they are not listening. Listen, no, amen. amen. It reflects, my. It reflects the real future of what the world is nowadays. Yes. And, yes. and, and with us as preachers, that we tell them that the, the coming of the Lord is growing nearer and that we should have our minds transformed from the things of the world and look Hallelujah. into the things of heaven. That mm. we should let our minds stay up 
with God so yes. that it can be transformed so that we can look at the world in a different format. Different format, yes. that's right. Yes. Amen. That, that is Paul uh, speaking. And he says in verse 22 that I now bid you take heart for there will be no laws of life among you. Wow. Be because, because he is there and yes. he, he is a man of God and he has heard from God and he stood boldly and told them, look, take heart. For there will be no laws, no laws. Among, among you. My God. Amen. Where did he get this? He got this huh. from that transformed mind. Not yes. the mind that he had when he was persecuting Christians. Not That's the right. mind that he had when he was witnessing or giving consent for the death of God's servant, Stephen. But this yes. is a different Paul. Different, different Paul. Paul with a, a name because he's actually changed from soul, soul. to Paul. Well, yes. That's right. And, and, and Paul went ahead and, uh, and tell them, told them in verse 25, Now, so take heart, men, for I have faith in God that yes. it will be exactly as I have been told. And this is the message we are telling the world today, to get their minds transformed, to get their thinking changed. Changed. In about Christ, because yes. it will be exactly as we are telling them. That if yes, they don't amen. believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, they definitely will not see heaven. heaven. And not. this is what we are trying to tell them because Paul himself had to be transformed. He had amen. to be blinded by the light of, from above that he could not see. He actually was led to the house of Ananias for, right. uh, for, for, for healing of his eyes. So we are telling the world today and the world around us, starting with our families, that there is a need for us transforming our thinking, yes. our way of life. Yes. It has to change because the time is drawing nearer. Yes, it and is. And the storm is increasing in the sea. We My see Lord. the camels and the ship, the ship is being toasted. It cannot even anchor. It is being toasted from one side to the other. Oh, soon they will have this shipwreck. And if the ship is wrecked, then where will you be? Where and will the people is, be? Come yes, on. this is why Paul is saying, don't panic. Don't yes, even yes, run yes. out of the ship. Stay right there. Mm. Stay right and listen to what I tell you. Because yes. it shall be, be done just be the way right. I have told you. I have told you. It will be done just the way he has told us. Yes. He said, in my father's house, there are many <laughs> muscles. Oh, and yes. I'm going to prepare a place for you that where I am, you may be also. Thank you. And yes. if it were not so, I would have told not. you. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. So uh, today, God is speaking with us about the Tamils of the earth, the Tamils that we see around us, the shakings. These are for us because Christ went through it all. And one song here has spelled it very clearly how he was, uh, he was pierced, he was, uh, he was whipped, he took the yes. cross, he bled, he took all those pains because of us. Oh, we God. have to share in the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ for us to go to heaven. We Amen. should not take shortcuts because there is no shortcut in the, uh, no in, in the journey. My God. We have to, face it. we have to face it and go through it step by step as God leads us. But the truth is that you will not lose your life. Mm. Because you yeah. have hidden your life in Christ. In Christ. Christ. Amen. You have hidden your life in Christ. So whether the storm comes, whether there is a lot of shaking, you will say that there will be no loss of life among Hallelujah. you, Christians. Because mm. you are completely in Christ, in even Christ in this Jesus. heavy storm. Yes. Yeah. But we shall all have to run on some island. Mm. At the end of the day, there will be an island that we shall be stuck in. And okay. this is what I'm saying, that today you must know that there is a destiny. We shall actually reach there. Mm -hmm. If you don't jump out of the ship, yes. if you don't jump out of this ship, irrespective of the storms, irrespective of the terminals that you see, irrespective of the peril. You remember the storms and the peril that was hitting the boat from one side to the other? Yes. Mm -hmm. this, this was hitting everybody, including mm. Paul, including the 
other prisoners, including even the sailors. The, the storm of the earth will hit all of us. Yes, but the will. difference is here. The difference is here. Where is your mind? Where have you put your mind? Is it transformed that you think towards heaven? That you My know God. that you are actually going to heaven, irrespective of what happens, irrespective yeah, okay. of being stoned, irrespective of things happening around you that you don't understand. Yes. Would you agree with me that it will happen just the way the Lord has spoken? Yes. It just will the happen way the said. way the Lord has said it. And yes. I know that that is true. The Lord is with us and we cannot be shaken. shaken. In the middle of the storm of life, God has given his servants authority yes. of the kingdom power yes. in his yes. hand. Yes. In, that, in the midst of that, he has given his servant authority, authority yes. over the storm, authority over the people that he has. He is okay. now the spokesman. He is now the consultant. He is now the one the people have, are depending on. Paul yeah. is the one that people are looking into. What do we do next? Because that's what happens. I tell you, uh, I look around here and I said, had I not come here, maybe I could have not be gotten the opportunity that God sometimes gives me because yes. they run to me sometimes for spiritual consultation. But who am I that they may run to me? They run to me because Christ is in me. Yes. That yes. they want to consult me for the community in regards to their spiritual direction. Mm -hmm. And I yes. get that and I do it. I do it with all passions that I have because I know that's Hallelujah. an opportunity that God has given me and I have to do it dissecting their lives that we live in Christ, the ability of Christians and what they have achieved in the community and what is happening against or rather we compare it with just literary spirituality and we we look at it and based on culture that they come from we find a balance and they say that they what they like is spirit is christianity yes and, and 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 at one time they even told us okay we we would like somebody who can give us a counseling but a, a christian counseling and I said, that's good, because they have their own traditional counseling. And that is good. They do that. That helped them for some years back. But also, we have a superpower. Yeah. And this is when they need a, they need a spiritual power, they, they should look for a servant of that spiritual power. Yes. And here, we, here you are, here I am, that we should be ready to help uh, a situation like that. And to mm, bring yes. the light, bring light where there is no light. Yes. When the 14 days, I like that place where it says, when the 14 days had come, as we were drifted across the sea of Andrea, mm. about midnight, the sailors suspected that they were nearing land. They had been drifted and drifted until it reached a point that they were not even seeing the sun or the moon. It was all dark. You could be in a life that you have been drifted, drifted until you said, I don't know. I don't know mm. what next, because why me? I don't see a way out of this. But the, the scripture tells us that after 14 days, after 14 nights had come and were drifting, uh, and, and we were drifting across the sea of Andrea. About midnight, the sailors suspected that they were nearing the land. So they yes. sounded and found 20 fathom. A little further on, they sounded again and found 15 fathom. And fearing that we might run on the rock, they let out for anchors from the, from the stand and prayed for day, prayed for day to come. Come, yes. Yeah. Yes. And as the sailors were seeking to escape from the ship and had lowered the boat into the sea, under pretense of laying out anchors from the from the from the bow, Paul said to the centurion and the soldier, unless these men stay in the ship, unless mm -hmm. they stay in the ship, you cannot be saved. They then the sailors cut away the ropes of the boat and let it go. So this is where we are. You may see a window opening and trying to run to it. And the sailors who know how to escape were already lowering the boat secretly. 
But there was one man who was now has had taken the command of the ship, and that was Paul, a prisoner. A prisoner turned a consultant. A prisoner turns the captain of the ship. Mm. And, and now he said, unless you stay in the boat, none of you will escape. I told yeah. you the other time that you should not leave Crete, and you decided to leave it. And therefore, you can see how much loss you have incurred. Mm. And right now, I'm telling you, nobody should leave the ship. None. All right. Then the they soldiers the cut, they cut the ropes and and let the, the boats go so that they may not be able to, to perish, as Paul mm. has said. <laughs> now, much prayers and fasting 14 days without food, that was something that God designed. God designed that they go through the fasting for 14 days, mm -hmm. whether you like it or not. Okay. It, was not a, uh, it was not an environment even to think of food because death was just near. So mm -hmm. Paul, to Paul, it was a big advantage because it was preparing him with power. Yes. yes. So God sent the angel to Paul to save the 275 uh, yes. people and sailing with them. Therefore, James also said the prayer of a righteous man yes. uh, releases yes. great power. Releases yes. great power. Great power. Because that's in John 5, uh, 16. Yes. That they were spared because Paul prayed for them. What a revelation, the power of prayers. Thank the power you. of prayers in our midst can transform you as an individual. The power of prayers can transform your way of thought. The power mm. of right. prayers can transform our worst situation into a good situation. Uh, the, prayer, the prayer is the key thing. If we miss the prayer out, we are done. Yes. And therefore... Christians in the last days, especially the days that we are in, we are going to see a lot of changes, a lot of changes in the economy, a lot of changes in our lives, a lot of changes in our children, but we have to stay in the boat. And after staying in the boat, we must be prayerful. We must yes. be prayerful. Because Paul is saying that Paul was exposed to the same peril mm. as these other men. And Jesus. yet... God strengthened him with a word of encouragement in yeah. the midst of the trial. He yeah. didn't take him. He did not take him away of the problem. You have to go through it. Yeah. And God, you will get the strength you need right in the problem that Amen. you're going through. The problem, the strength cannot come from outside. Outside, no. you don't need the strength because there is no problem there. Mm. The problem is where you are. Where ah, you are. Yes. The you are going yes, through. sir. That God needs to give you the strength to go through that problem. Amen. And, and the storm was no less for Paul than it was for anyone else. Anybody else. That's right. The danger was just as evident. The waves were just as high. The darkness just as intense. The apparent hope just as absent from the circumstances for him as it was for them. Mm. That's right. So it was for them to decide to follow what Paul says, because this man is suffering with us. This man is going through tests with us, and yet he has courage. So what is he saying next? So here is Paul telling them to eat. And they ate and got some strength. I, I want to tell us that even in the midst of trial, even in the midst of fierce trial, we should know that our God has not abandoned us. Our mm. God has not forgotten us. No, he, he has not. With us. All what we have to check is what is our mindset? What yes. is our mindset? Are we right? Are we being transformed daily? Yes. Because mm -hmm. our mind, we have to we have to wash it always. Because yes. it, God is looking for transforming our mind on a daily basis because we yes. are being perfected mm. on each day towards our destiny we mm. are being renewed on our strength Hallelujah. and our strength cannot be renewed if our mind is not renewed. all yes. right and yes because our contrite spirit is what he is looking for that's what yes. he's looking for I, 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 my, my plea with the christian at the moment is that 
we should be more serious on our call. We mm -hmm. should be more serious on our thinking because there is something beyond just the normal thinking. There is something beyond the five senses and that is penetrating into the spiritual realm. Immediately we stage our ambition to know God, we will be prayerful and seek him. And when we seek him, he will be found by our side. And yes. when he is available for us, we will see the realm of the spirit beyond our normal five senses. We will be able to dictate things that want to dictate us. We yeah, are okay. above those things. We are above them. And we are able to do that which God has assigned us to do if Amen. we are prayerful. Mm. Amen. And in Amen. looking at what Paul went through before he was, uh, he was persecuted, or rather before he accomplished the mission. Yes. Paul went through a lot, yet he yes, never he... looked back. Yes. That's right. He never looked back. Amen. My God. You are saying that in his third mission, he was even stoned and left uh, for dead. Left him for dead. Yeah, but he stood up and said, because he had gotten a companion, uh, Barnabas, and he said, okay, I, get my, I got my, some strength here, let's go. So, uh, we have to continue. Whether you are left only with one limp, limping, just limp forward. Limp. That's right. Limp Hallelujah. Forward. Jesus. No, no reverse gear at all. Yes. We have, you have to dislocate the, the reverse gear from your vehicles and move on. That's move right. On. Move on. There is not, nothing like moving behind. Because if you move on, there is something for you ahead that God has Hallelujah. laid. That he not lay for anybody else. He laid That's it for right. you. You yes. either move on and get it or you, you, you perish. That's yeah. right. So Amen. We have to move on and achieve that God has laid for our hold. And yes. that is that will happen. In my yes. conclusion, I would only say that transforming our thinking is what me and you need in this last day and age so that we can see and give advice to the world around us. This mm. we are seeing happening a lot because people mm. are coming to you. You should be in a position to give advice and give accurate advice. And uh, this is what we are seeing happening to us. We, we, some of them are getting us completely off-footed and we say, oh, oh, we need to go deeper because people are expecting a lot from us. And this is what the book of Romans say that the children of this world are waiting for the manifestation yes. uh, of the children of God. Sons of God. Sons of God. We Hallelujah. are here and they must see the manifestation of Christ yes. in, us, in everything that we do. They Hallelujah. are reading us like letters written for them. And uh, they are seeing a lot that they need. So they are asking us, how can I help this? How can I go about this? And this is where we are at the moment. Hmm. Now, number two, with a transformed mind, mind, we can confess that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, I, will fear, I will fear no evil. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Comfort. Mm. His rod and his staff will simply comfort you. Yes. And that is in Psalms 23, verse 4, that we know that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that is a threatening valley, mm. that you and me will fear no evil. Nothing. Ah, Lord. No fear. For he is with us. Yes, he is. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Comfort us. Yes. Now, uh, number three, it said, you... You prepare a table before me in the presence mm -hmm. of mine enemies. Mm -hmm. The spiritual table has been laid before me, before us. That is why even if they they go against you, you don't have to compete them or rather be harsh with them. But time will tell yes. that they will come before you and still seek you because yes. you have something that they don't have. Yes, You mm -hmm. have Amen. something that the world have not. So we have to know that the table is already laid before Hallelujah. us. When the enemies mm. are there, they come and dine with us. They, Jesus. they can, can be invited and see. See, they will they will see you dining, whether oh, yes. they like it or not, because the That's Lord right. himself has laid a table for you. Mm. And number four, I say this is indicative of what the Christian faith is all about. The Christian faith is actually pegged on God. 
it is immovable. It is yes, yes. or no. It yes. is yes. And therefore, when we say yes, let our yes be yes. That's uh, right. And, uh, there and put our faith on Christ so that it can be said that the just shall live, live by, by faith. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. This is where we are. We are in a very, uh, a very delicate position. And the, our position is to focus on God. And for us to focus on God, we must change our mindset and therefore be transformed in our thinking. Yes. Because Amen. if we are not transformed in our thinking, we'll be diverted. We'll, be, we'll digress into the things of the world. We will start crying like them. We will start looking at what will I do now? I don't have a job. I don't have. What will we do? We, mm -hmm. we, it's not you to think of how will That's you do. That's right. It is God. Now. It is you to go to God Thank and you, ask, Jesus. what do I do next? Yes. Because there's a lot for you to do. And God has laid it all for us. And therefore, we walk into it. We just walk into it. These are things yeah. that he had laid before the foundation of the earth. And we know that Christians are well taken care of. Take your stand. Transform your mind. Yeah. And be transformed in your thinking so that you Jesus. may think positively. Jesus. Now, okay. transform, uh, a Christian is not different. Uh, a Christian is a total, Christianity rather, is a total different lifestyle. For we are in this world and are not of the world. That's, mm. right. that's, that's why things are different. Uh, that's right. With Christian. We are in this world, yes, but that's we are right, not, of this, not world. Of, of this world. That's right. We are simply living on these bodies, but we are waiting for our flight. Just ah. that's true. And I, I was just telling people that you have to buy your ticket in time. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Don't miss You have the to flight. buy your ticket in time because the flight, heaven, 777, is on the okay. way. Okay. That's right. And the angels are coming to take you. I will say bye to you if you don't buy your ticket today because this is the time. The right. time when trials right and temptations are coming your way. The time when things doesn't seem to be working for you. The time that you think you are so much burdened. This is the time. It is not the time when you are feeling relaxed. You will not That's need right. that. Call. It's a time when you are feeling so stressed, so much down. That is the time when you need your Christ because Christian Christianity is a total different lifestyle. It is mm. not the like lifestyle of the world that you may think things may work good so you feel good. You can go to church. You can praise God lavishly. Oh, it is different. It is, when, different. Paul, it is when Paul is being stoned to death. Yes. Uh -huh. It is when his life is being threatened and he takes off disappearing. It, yes. is when, yeah. it is when the ship is wrecked with him. It is when uh, he is taken for sure to be killed. Mm. And this is the Christian life. Because you gain nothing in this world, even if you acquire the whole world and Amen. Lose, your own, lose your own life. Own life. You can gain everything that you need in this world in your comfort zone, but then you lose your precious life to the world. Mm, it is I better for you to lose everything and secure your life in the Lord. Lord. Amen. Now, transform thinking is the result of keeping our heads, our hearts, and our hope alive in Christ. Mm. That is the transformed thinking. That our help, our hope, and our heads should be kept right in Christ with a hope that we are going to receive. You know, faith, if you don't apply hope in it, in your faith, it is like dead. Because mm. faith is a substance of mm. things hoped for, oh. Oh. Of things not seen. So he, you know for sure that it is going to come. It is also a good time to talk to your God. It is a Jesus. good time to talk to your God so that he can tell you which direction to move. Mm. Problems are not necessarily bad, although they may be very painful. But problems teaches us a lot as Christian. Yes, problems opens, opens our head to know much more than what we knew yesterday. Yes. So when problems come in our way, stop complaining. Stop ah. complaining about the problems, about the events that are around you. Preach. You are you are much more than that. You are not just so cheap that anything moving around you could divert you to start thinking of coming down. You are not coming down because you are going up and your house is prepared in heaven. 
Hallelujah. Your house is not here. Even, even if you are buried on the soil, you will shoot out of the soil during rapture and you will go ahead of us. Stop thinking right. mediocre. Stop mm. thinking mediocre. You are yes. not there. You are mm. a man who has been chosen. You are a woman who has been anointed and chosen, chosen of God and your direction is heaven. Your head is up above your shoulder and yes. you know that you're going to heaven. We thank God for that because we know Hallelujah. where we are going and we know yes. who has called he ah. is the first to resurrect and yes. therefore we will resurrect. Yes. Amen. Amen. No wonder the word of God tells us that as a man thinketh, so is he. Proverbs so is 28, he. 7. That's right. If, if, if we want to be what we look like, the mediocre type of life, then our thinking is not right. Mm. Let's put our thinking right by whole transformation. We have to transform our thinking so that we may think positively. We may oh, think Lord. towards heaven. We may think towards God, our creator. We were not created for ourselves. We were created right. for God. We were Hallelujah. created for God to do the good works that he had signed us, assigned us to do. That yes. does not stop you from achieving things of this world. You will achieve it. But you Amen. have to give God his first, first preference. God is the leader. God is your head. And therefore, as a man of the house, you take your position. And when you take your position, the whole house will go right. If you Amen. don't take your position, the spiritual aspect of the house will be lost. And yes. therefore, we are looking forward for a transformed mind of a mm. man to give health to the house spiritually. Jesus. A transformed thinking feeds, number eight, transformed thinking uh, feeds our, spiritual, our spirit with uh, positivity. And our spirit, in turn, feeds our soul with the right spirituality. Yeah, yes. And therefore, we, are, we have to have our minds transformed so that we can tap from the spirit and that the spirit can transform our thinking capability and our soul so that we save our soul from death. Right. Yes. This is a, a, a right saying that a Christian who simply believes that uh, he, his duty is only to go to church and come back and sleep and wait for another church is, is worse than a religious person. My okay. God. It's worse than a religious person because you know the truth and you don't want to practice the truth. My goodness. The difference Help only us. comes when you start practicing the truth. Yes. And, and it doesn't matter. You may not be very good in it. You may not be very practical as, as some people do it so beautifully. But the little that you know, put into use. Put into use what God has given you that Amen. he can bless you. Because Amen. if he blesses you, you will be different. You will no longer yes. be the same person that the people My will God. say, but he's never been like that. How comes? Uh, God is just blessing me constantly. At one time, one person came to me and told me, you know what? God is blessing you because you help the orphans. I didn't think like that. When I was helping the orphan, I was helping from a different perspective of thought. But okay. he came and said, God is helping you because wherever you go, there are some orphans that you... I didn't think it like that because mm. I'm, I'm a different mission. My mission is I'm trying to make my, right, my life right with God on each day. I'm trying yes. to build my foundation so that I may also inherit the kingdom of God. Okay. Amen. I, I'm, I'm transforming myself. Uh, I'm, I'm working towards the transformation of myself because I know yes. each day I have to move to the cross. I have to look around. If there is something I may confess, I have to sit down with my wife and say, look, here I'm not doing very well. Mm. And uh, we need to, I, I need you to forgive me. If you cannot make a step even with your own wife and ask for forgiveness, I don't know how you are going to make it because you better you, preach, sir. Yeah. You 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 are, you are lost somewhere because That's right. if, if you can't do it on the little one on the little your house there, okay. how, are you going to, how are you going to put it outside and change people? You That's have to right. change yourself first for you first. to be a transformer. Amen. You have to transform your mind and then transform, be a transformer. Make them Amen. go to Christ and transform because yes. you your mind is not right. Right, your mind has to be right. Yes, it has. Amen. And this, uh, this is the message that God gave me that I may share with you because I looked at the life of Paul and I say, oh, this man went through a lot. Surely he went through a lot. 
Yes. But there is one thing that I want us to know, that if there is any among us that going through a lot of problems, going through a lot of trials, going through a lot of temptation, oh, or God. is suffering, you must know that you are suffering because God loves you. Because if you can still open your mouth and say that I am born again, surely God loves you. Amen. God loves you in the midst of that suffering, and God is able to carry you through. He is able to strengthen you. Don't underrate him. Don't That's underrate right. him, even if you have a weak uh, character. You just, 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 just fall before him. Fall at his feet and say that, my Lord, I know I cannot make it. I've reached my end, but this is what I want you, Lord, to do. Hold my hand and walk with me. Yes. I cannot manage it, but you can do it for me, O Father. Yes. I come in and make it for me, O Lord. Make it happen for me. He will do it. Yes, he is so Lord. promising. He has yes. never let any one person uh, uh, down. He is always a God that looks into each and every person. He looks at you differently than what you think you are. He created you by himself, and he knew the reasons why he created you. Set Jesus. yourself in the right position and get the purposes for which he created you. Yes. That is the main thing. Go deeper into the word and find out, even in Ephesians chapter, chapter 1 from verse 17, 18. You read there and you'll find that you, the first thing that you have to know is the call in your life. What mm. is the call in your life? Mm -hmm. It's when, after knowing that, is when you will know what the what are the benefits in other mm. brethren's life. Mm. Before knowing the call in your life, you will be completely confused because mm. you will be you will be citing the word of God, you will be reading the word of God, but you do not know yourself. I mm. want you to know. I want us to know ourselves as we approach the throne of grace. I yes. want us to know ourselves as we pray. I want us to pray meaningful prayers, prayers that God will. Here and I want us also to talk to God because there is prayers that we utter before God, and there is time we have to talk to Him. He is our yes. Father. We have to sit in a quiet place and talk to Him. When Amen. I'm teaching, when I'm teaching on spirituality, I tell them that I am more spiritual than what you think the spiritual, the, the the traditional spirituality, because I have a high spirit uh, who is in me. And yes. I, I can teach you about that. And therefore, I teach them on the spirituality deep down in me. I don't just try to imagine things. I don't yes. try to go through the transcendental whatever. But I teach them of the genuine spirit of God that has been bestowed upon me. And yes. that this spirit is, is living right inside me. And I can Hallelujah. show them that you can live a righteous life if you have the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Thank you for today. And uh, that is the message. God uh, bless you. God, God bless you, you sir. God bless you. May God Amen. bless you abundantly. Amen. 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 What Amen. a message. What a message. Yes. What a message indeed. We thank you wow. for that, Pastor you. Alfred. And Bishop, if you would just allow me to yes. reflect on some of the points yes, apostle. That, that truly Amen. blessed me. Yes. Um, you know. Paul's mind had to be changed. Renewed. Yes, changed. Paul went from persecutor to preserver. Preserving. Amen. Listen, yes. God has assigned each one of us people. You don't have to be a pastor. You know, there is someone who is assigned to you. And that person, just like yours, assigned to someone, God has sent his servants in our midst to instruct us, just as he sent Paul to be on that ship. Even though Paul was a prisoner, it was part of God's plan. Paul needed to be there. And when the storm broke out, it was Paul who spoke common words. It was Paul who said, don't jump ship. I heard a preacher say one time, the first ones to leave a sinking ship are the rats. Don't have a rat spirit. <laughs> when things start to go hinky, stay on board. board. Amen. Yeah. Stay in the place where God has promised you safety. Safety. Even when the waves came and broke apart the ship, God used the broken pieces to save the people, to put them on the island How about that? they were. How about that? So when yeah. the storm comes, you know what? Go through it, even yes. if it's dark, even if you drift into the dark, listen to the men and women of God who have been given instructions 
for you. Don't have a rat spirit. Stay in the boat. Transform mm -hmm. the way you think. Just because you see a storm does not mean that it's going to be harmful for you. Remember, God will keep us in the midst of it. Midst How of do it. I know that? Because his word will change your mind from the carnality that the world system thinks to thinking heavenly. Mm -hmm. We go to we go Romans 12 and says, Paul, Paul, listen, I got to get it. Because the same Paul has given us some marvelous instructions. Don't, don't copy, copy the behavior, behavior and customs, and customs of, this, of world. this world, but let but God, God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will. How about that for you? Amen. Amen. Jesus. Good and pleasing and perfect. Mm. If you want to know what God's will is for you. Like the pastor said, don't just sit down and start praying and bombarding God with all of these things. Have a conversation. Satan. Get your father. Sit down like you would with your father. And as a matter of fact, yeah. you can be more open with him than you can be with any human being. Yes. Yes. You can't tell God anything that's going to make him blush. No. You can't tell God anything no. that he didn't already know that you were going to do and that he sent Jesus, as we heard in Isaiah today, to already yeah. die for it. Nah. Amen. The price has already been paid. Mm -hmm. Amen. So what's your concern? Mm -hmm. Change your mind. mind. Yes. Go yes. from being a persecutor to being a preserver. A preserver. So that God will even send you in on broken pieces. Broken pieces. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Bishop. Alfred, Hallelujah. That word on today. Hallelujah. That yeah. God, God will even send you in on broken pieces. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Like it, but God has promised Promise. to be in the midst of the storm with us. So we need to, that's how Jesus could sleep Praise in the bottom God. of the boat during the storm. Peace. Because the peace, peace of God, remember, the peace of God, the his father, allowed mm. him to rest. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise God. Deacon Allen, come on in. Open your mic. Close us in prayer, please. Amen. Amen. Awesome word. Awesome word. Yeah. Dear Lord, we come to you today. We thank you, Lord, for this message. We ask, Lord, that you forgive us for our sins. We pray, Lord, that with your spirit, Lord, that you, you change our minds, Lord. We can mm -hmm. see in this, oh, Lord, that the way the world is and presents itself, Lord, is contrary to your word yes and we pray lord that you will open eyes and hearts to see this that they may to accept you lord and that you may change their minds and their hearts so they may have eternal life as well yes we thank you for this message lord we ask you to help us to apply it in our lives mm -hmm. that we do not grow away from your word so that we do not become like the world mm. because we know the difference lord Mm -hmm. We thank you. We ask you to be with each person throughout the week. Give yes, them yes. word. give them time to spend in your word, mm -hmm. to meditate mm -hmm. upon your word, and for each one of us to ask you to change change our minds, Lord. Yes, God. Be more like yours. In Jesus' name I pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.